Okay, last night I finally finished reading The Book Thief by Marcus Duzak. Um, I am going to attempt to do a spoiler-free review. The, I, I liked this book. I liked it a lot. The only reason why I cannot say that I loved this book was because it was an exceptionally slow read. Um, it took me a long time to read it. It took me over two months to read it. I read it from March 3rd till May 22nd. Um, and it hasn't taken me... It, I don't think it's ever taking me that long to read a book. Um, but it was it was a really slow read. However, what you were reading was good. Um, but there would be points um, where you would read so much information and you would be so into it and you would pause to, I don't know, do anything. And you think you have read like 50 pages and you look down at the page, at the page number and you realize you've only read 10. Um, <clears throat> but other than that, the book was exceptionally enjoyable. Uh, um enjoyed the perspective that it was written from. The main character's name is Liesl. Um, it's written with the with Death as the narrator and Liesl Death Death's interactions with Liesl. And this is she's such a young character and you kind of forget that or I kind of forgot that when looking at the things that she had to deal with as a child young preteen um and teenager in the in the time in Germany where Hitler is gaining his power with the beginning beginning of the Holocaust. Um and she you know, she starts she starts off as such a central focus where, you know, of course she's a kid, so her main focus is herself, but as she goes through the book she she meets these people and she interacts with these people and she starts to care about these people and they become her focus as well. Um, and the the care that she feels for these people is the same kind of care that you develop for these people where you start off not understanding them or not liking them just from the first your first introduction of them. You start to to understand them and to develop a a, a care for them because of their interactions with Lisa and you and her understanding of them. Um, the major turning point or one of the turning points in the book is when her family, her foster family brings in and hides a Jew in their basement. Lisa, you know, she as a kid, her friends, um, she her best friend is a, is a boy named Rudy and their relationship um, together and how they grow up together is absolutely beautiful. Um, but they come into interacting with other ch with other children based on what they've heard and attempting to develop beliefs and understandings based on what they've heard and then this Jew comes and stays in their basement and her perspective is totally changed and while she has this best friend that she shares everything with, this is the one thing that she has to keep secret. I have to say, I do not like war stories. I don't watch movies about war. Um, I have many relatives who have been in the military and listening to their war stories, good, bad, whatever, is enough for me. Um, so I don't really care to read war stories or stories where, you know, there's a lot of interjections about what's going on during wars that are based during that time. And I still enjoyed this book because there is a lot of talk um, from the narrator about the war and about the deaths in the war, the people who are affected. And it gets you to look at war um, a little differently. Um, like I said, this is from the Jewish supporters, but they're still Germans, and they're still Germans under Hitler's rule. So you get the perspective, you get a perspective of the Holocaust from the people who were essentially supporting the Holocaust. Um, and so it's just, it's just, it's really, it's really different and it makes you think about things in a different way. It makes, it makes you think about the civilians who are impacted by war, the people who die in war that are not fighting. Um, then you know there there are neighborhoods that that were bombed and 
children who were killed, their parents who were killed, who had absolutely nothing to do with the war, no desire to fight in the war, yet they were still victims of the war. And then you you also have Max's perspective, who is the Jew that's in, that's in their basement, and how he interacts with Liesl and how she develops a fondness for him and a concern for him that is, is amazing and a compassion for him that is amazing and very, very profound for a 12, an 11 or 12 year old child. So um, I'm going to stop because I'm totally scared since I've given out characters names but that's not really bad like characters have names but I don't want to give away too much of the book because um, I don't want to spoil it for any of you who haven't read it so um, I hope that if you haven't read it you read you read it um, and if you have read it and if you've read some other books that are from the German perspective of Nazi Germany. Um, leave some. Leave them in the comments below. I would certainly be interested in reading them. I dare say, up to this point, 90% of the books that I have read that have been based in Nazi Germany have been from the Jewish perspective, um, the perspective of the oppressed. So, um, if you have any books that you have read that you enjoyed that are from the that's from the perspective of the Jewish supporters. Um, who were German and living in Nazi Germany during that time period, I would certainly be interested in hearing in hearing them. So I hope that was good for you. Um, that was my first review, and we'll see how this one takes in the Booktubeverse, and that will determine whether or not I do any more reviews. So talk to you all later. Bye.